continue the series exploring the interior of the new ALC building with your host, Jeff Butt. Let's go downstairs now. And to do that, we're going to enter in from the way that guests would come in from the west entrance. So we'll start off down the stairs from the west entrance. Now we're in the west entry. And on this side of me is the elevator. We'll get to that. On this side is where you go up the stairs to the sanctuary in the upper floor that we just finished touring. Behind me is a window through to where the nursery is down there after a little bit of a hallway. And on behind me on this side, underneath the stairwell, is a yard maintenance room and an elevator machine room. I've now gone from the west entry down to the lower level. On this side is the elevator. If people chose to take the elevator to go down this flight, the elevator's on this side. And here is the entrance to the nursery that you can't see yet, but you will in a couple minutes. So we came down those stairs and I pointed out the elevator on this side. And I also said that there's a nursery over here and there it is. Down this hall is a couple of service rooms, the yard maintenance, storage room, and the elevator machine room. And we will go down there because that's the room Barry's itching to look inside. This is the yard maintenance room. Lots of storage, even a shelf. And over on this side, we have the elevator machine room. I'm standing in the gathering space just walking into the nursery. As we come through the doors on our right will be a place to hang coats or that kind of thing. In here is a children's size washroom and there's also a sink and a countertop for changing diapers and so on over here. And then cubbies over on this side. Here's a window that looks up into the west entrance lobby and down here is a window that faces north to the old church a beautiful space we're looking forward to having the ceiling in noah's ark mural on the wall over on this side and filled with kids playing when we move around this way you'll see the bread basket room behind me and a small kitchen. I'm walking through a very large meeting room. So I'll just walk that way and describe what's happening. This is the bread basket room in here and it also functions as a small kitchen. The next room we'll go to is a meeting room and it is behind me here, one of the one of the rooms. The largest one is in the corner. It's very noisy in there because of a fan. So I think I'll just stay here and describe it. We're in the largest of the meeting rooms, a Sunday school room. Behind me is where all the rainwater leaders come down and go underground out to the alley. And the contractor will be building a little um, tabletop here with a cabinet below and then upper cabinets above for the Sunday school teachers to just put their things or whoever's in this room. Uh, and I think Arnie's just going to pan around to the rest of the room now. Now I'm in the library and young people's room. The library will be on shelving all the way around and perhaps a little bit in there. And then the rest of the room will be more of a lounge type setting. Now I'm in the mechanical room. On the other side of this wall is where the library and young people's room was. And for all you oil and gas types, this will warm your heart. It's not actually a gas well. It's where the main water line comes in, a six inch water line, which is required mostly because it's a sprinklered building. And then you can see the stainless steel pipe that goes up and actually it goes through a storage room under the stairs and out to a Siamese connection that was required for firefighting. And over here 
is a hot water tank.